Hi, it's Chris, and I'm here on the street where we're going to live, and it's a great location. Right down there is my sister-in-law, Alexandra, her two kids, Christina and Dante. Uh, she and Bobby live down there five houses away from where we're going to be. It's the perfect location for us. We have some things to contend with on the house, though, so take a look. So the problems start right at the entrance. It's two steps up from the driveway and four more to get into the front door of the house, which is really tough if you're on crutches. The garage is a real problem. We're hopeful that Angela's going to be able to drive, but if she pulls in here, the garage is detached from the house, and it's eight steps up, including the one inside, in order to get into the house. There's another problem outside, and that is that the siding is asbestos, and that's got to go. So now we're on the inside of the house, and we have a couple of challenges, as you see. The first one is that the bedrooms are upstairs, and they're up a steep staircase. But another one is that the first floor of the house isn't even one level. Look. The existing family room is a step down. To get from the bathroom to the kitchen or vice versa, it's a step down and then another step up. This is the existing first floor master bedroom. And while it does attach to the first floor bath, it's only 10 feet by 11 feet. So you can just fit a single bed in here, but it's, it's not useful as a master bedroom. The problem with the kitchen is there's nowhere to eat. So if you make a meal, in order to eat it, you have to carry it around the corner to the dining room table. And that's a tough thing to do if you're on crutches. So in short, it's a great location right where we want to be, but the house just isn't designed for somebody that has only one leg.